All right, someone either in an old Instagram photo or old YouTube video asked me what all do I use for Zoom meetings at church and how, how to record audio. So this is that video. Ideally, I would have a top down shot as well, uh, but seeing as I'm currently packing to go do this, we're just gonna get real messy with it. So I have the Peter McKinnon backpack and I'm just gonna open it up and start loading it in and I'll explain everything that is going into it and I'll just show you the top down shot afterwards. So here we go. So we have the little like battery cube something or whatever and this is where I'm gonna put all my constant power that goes to my camera. So let me just grab those. All right, so we have power brick, we have the cable that goes to the power brick and then you have your dummy battery. This is all the AC coupler and then this is a mini HDMI with the Elgato 4K stick thing um, and links to everything in this video will be in the description. So everything is going to go right in here. All right, so I have the big power brick and then down here are is the dummy battery and the cable for the power brick and then over here is the Elgato stick with the cable. So that gets zipped up and put into there. Next, we have the Canon R5 with the 24 to 105. Uh, I know there's gonna be people who are gonna be like, why not just get a 24 to 70 or 70 to 200? And uh, well, I only bought this because I'm like, I can get two lenses in one and this will be good for specifically this use case, using it as a zoom webcam for church. I can be super wide and get the audience or I can be super zoomed in and get the speaker. So it's a two in one and it's perfect for this. So that goes into the camera slot. Next we have the Rode Mic Go and there are the little square things. This is the receiver. So that just is in a little pouch with the T TRS to TRRS cable as well as the TRS to TRS or whatever it is. I also have a iPhone dongle in here back when the pandemic wasn't a thing. So I could just record audio to my phone. Then it would sync to my MacBook. Then I could just pull audio from voice memos on my MacBook into Final Cut and edit the sermons from there. I didn't have to plug my phone into my computer to transfer files or anything. It was nice. So that just goes roughly into somewhere. All right, next we have the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB mic, and this will just go in the back of the chapel. And then I also need the screw head for that. And I'll get to the boom arms in just a second. So that goes in the long slot and this goes into a pocket like that. Then we have a newer boom arm. This is what I used to use at my desk. Then I got a new one, which is also linked on my gear page on my website. And I, instead of trying to get rid of this, I kept it specifically for church. And of course the mount and an extra mic cable that just kind of goes in the big pocket. This will sit on top and this just kind of goes into the same slot as the microphone holder. Next thing, because I use a MacBook, I need a dongle. This is from a company called ChargeGen. Uh, it has a SD card, micro SD card, HDMI port, and three USB ports as well as one USB-C. And so I need this to be able to control audio on my computer for everything. And that just kind of goes into the zipper pocket in the backpack. All right, next is my MacBook Pro with all the stickers. Yeah, I kind of have a problem. Anyway, this is the quirky power curl case for, or travel case for my MacBook charger. This is the larger size and this is just super handy. It keeps all the cables wrapped up nice and tight. And then that just goes right into the big pocket. Then this will go into the laptop sleeve. Then this just sits right on top. I double check that I have everything. Laptop, power for laptop, camera, power for laptop, microphone, cable for microphone, ability to plug microphone into camera, and we should be good. That closes in. And then last but not least, I need a tripod for said camera. Now, please don't hate me because this is a really expensive tripod, but boy oh boy, is it worth it 
This is the Peak Design Travel Tripod. And just look how slim it is. This is so small, but I love it. And uh, gotta have Pete and Kirk on there. So what I love about this tripod is A, it's light. And B, it fits into the water bottle slot of a backpack. So then I just buckle that up and then I'm good to go. And uh, unfortunately it snowed last night so I also need to change and do all that. But also, okay, you don't, obviously you don't need this tripod but it's nice that it fits into here because then I can just throw everything onto my back and I don't have to carry anything separate because this is the tripod I used to use. Well, I mean, I still use it. It's from KNF Concept. It's a great tripod, but it doesn't fit into the water bottle section. It doesn't matter if I flip it upside down so the smaller side is downward. Like, it just doesn't fit and I'd have to carry it separately. Again, it's a really nice tripod, but this just fits and it's light and it, anyway. All right, so I'm gonna change. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm actually filming this on the ADD because as you saw, I put my R5 in here, so this should be fun. All right, Autobots, roll out. And away we go. Where the dang mask? All right, so once I arrive, I open up my backpack and start to pull everything out. The first thing I do is get my tripod situated in such a way that people can still get around it without tripping over it, and so that it's not too obstructive to the road in front of me. Once that is good to go, I mount my camera, switch it to video mode, and work on setting up the AC power adapter. It's worth noting that I have to make sure the battery door on the camera is properly closed all the way because otherwise, none of this will work. Once that's done, I then run this cable as well as my laptop's power cable along the back of my row so nobody trips, but also that's just proper cable management. It's here that I also plug in my HDMI cable with the attached Elgato cam link and additionally mount my USB mic on the boom arm and attach the proprietary cable. Once all of that is ready to go, I pull out my laptop and attach literally everything. The charging cable, the dongle, the Elgato cam link and USB mic to the dongle and the Rode mic go to the headphone port. Everything. Now that everything is plugged in, I can now start up Zoom, then enter the access code and password. Once I've made it to the screen that I'm sure we're all tired of looking at in 2020 and now 2021, I make sure my camera is selected as the video source and not the webcam of my laptop. Then, of course, in true how-to video fashion, nothing wanted to work the way it's supposed to on the first try. It's probably because I was filming the process. That has to be it, right? Either way, I eventually got it to work. All right, so let's go over. I'm talking to the camera. Okay. Ignore me. <laughs> I'm not trying to like interrupt your conversation. <laughs> so let's go over how I have this set up. So I have my laptop sitting on top of my backpack, and everything is plugged in to the outlet over there. And that's for my laptop and for my camera to a focus, thank you. And here I have my dongle plug, and then into the dongle I have the Elgato cam link, which goes straight to my R5. And from there I have the external power running all the way back to the outlet over there. Then back to the dongle, I have my USB microphone, which is clipped onto the desk, and that is the setup. Plus the Rode Mic Go. Here's the transmitter re rece re receiver, I think, whatever. And then the mic is actually, assuming it's still up there, just plug onto the microphone right up there and then for zoom meetings I control the audio with the microphone 
down here and then I can switch between my USB microphone and then the external microphone because it's plugged into the headphone port of my laptop with the TRS to TRRS cable. And so when people are speaking, I switch to that microphone. Then when we do our singing, I can switch to the USB mic. Oh yeah, my face check. <laughs> I haven't vlogged with the ADD in a while. So that's basically how I do this entire setup. And then when everything is done, I then load it back up into the backpack. Um, now, I only control the zoom side and camera side of things. For everything else, we run it through uh, the computer here because that's connected to our soundboard and the speakers. And now, at this point, if you're wondering why don't we just run everything through one computer, we could. Uh, it's just that I need the audio file and I edit them all afterwards. So it's just easier for me to control video and audio side of things for my computer than all the visuals can go to that computer. So if we have PowerPoints and our songs, uh, then they all go through there to the television up there. For recording the audio, I just open up QuickTime and then I go up to File new audio recording then with the little arrow i select my microphone so in this case it's going to be the external microphone then when they start speaking i don't know why this arrow goes away it shouldn't then when they start speaking or before i hit the little record button and then when they're done speaking i stop it and then save it to a folder on my computer under <laughs> under church sermons in a file called unedited then when i edit it I export it to the edited folder and then I upload it to anchor.fm. All right, so to those of you who are asking, how do I run this whole setup? I don't do all of it, I do most of it, but not even most of it, it's a team effort. Hope that answers your questions about how I do that whole setup, you're fine. <laughs> so yeah, if you like this video and you found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Bye.